everyone, this is Joachim, and this is another haul video. Rare these days, but they do happen. And this is simply a pre-order from DCBS, Discount Comic Book Service. And I've been doing pre-orders now for a couple of years, and yeah, so far so good. It has worked out, I haven't missed out on anything, and I've planned ahead in it, everything what I should get and recently we just saw the catalog for what Marvel and DC and some other companies are planning ahead for this winter and coming spring and makes my um, my profile of trying to be minimalistic and you know self-conscious about what you're buying and not just grabbing anything with an omnibus on the title that this catalog has tested me, let's say it like that. But yeah, here are some things that I'm 95% sure that I'll enjoy, and we'll get to that. But we'll start off with just one book here. Let's start off with IDW's ongoing Teenage Mutants Ninja Turtles series. This is volume 15 out of all their collected editions. This time featuring Karai on the cover and yeah I just I love this series I love the binding of the hardcover book itself the design it's so simple and it looks gorgeous amongst the upper 14 volumes and yeah I've already read this book actually uh, as I'm as I'm filming this and I really much enjoy it. it the, the turtles, you know, always wanted to be part of, a, of the human society and everything, but now that sort of has changed a little bit with certain events. Now it's all about almost kind of a mutant society. So societal issues and whatnot being accepted, it sort of touches on, yeah, I mean, that's what X-Men was in the beginning and everything, but yeah. I like where the stories are going. Much of the previous 100 story arcs was more retellings of classic stories and twists and turns with different classics. And much like the Ultimate Spider-Man actually. But yeah, uh, let's move on. And speaking of Spider-Man, this is not Ultimate Spider-Man. Hoping for that volume 3 to come out one day. And uh, yeah. I'll show you this one. The Superior Spider-Man Omnibus, Volume 1. That's interesting because I know they kept on with uh, revamping Superior Spider-Man, but I didn't know that there was enough issues to collect in a Volume 2, or maybe in the future there will be enough material for a Volume 2. This, this is the original series. This is actually one of the very first series that I picked up in single issues 10 years back when I got into comic book collecting. This is very strong nostalgia for me when it comes to the beginning of everything. And jumping straight into Superior Spider-Man might sound weird for one that has been in this game even longer, but uh, I think it was the perfect time actually. It, it gave me a reason to also go back into how did we get to this point so yeah it's, it's it's not necessarily a bad idea to jump straight in within something big but of course it was also a number one superior spider-man and it had the stories this actually collects um, uh, issues 698 to 700 of the amazing spider-man just to give you some backstory on how the superior spider-man actually approaches and comes into the picture. And the book also collects up to Superior Spider-Man issue 1 to 31 and also two annuals that they publish. And then there's of course a good companion for this would be the Spider-Verse spider get an omnibus which then collects the later two issues collected of Superior Spider-Man. And yeah, looking forward to reread this once more. And then we have another Spider-Man title, and this is the 
5% that I'm not sure if I'm gonna like, to be honest. But they announced it and sort of, yeah, ordered it. So this is The Amazing Spider-Man Beyond. And I had no idea what this is gonna be about. And yeah, I'll show you the backside. Then Riley is back. And in the reds and blues. And yeah, I, I went ahead with the Black Cat and Mary Jane cover. Because it was the cover that I liked the most out of the least. If that's correct. I thought the covers were horrible for this collection and I don't know what issues it, it completes either. But this does pick up right after The Amazing Spider-Man run by Nick Spencer, which I have the first volume of. I haven't read it or reread the stories yet and I'm currently awaiting volume 2, which now has a date of coming out in May 2024. So it'll be a while if I want to read all this in chronological order which might or might not make sense depending on how good the stories are but that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave this on on the pile on the reading pile for a while and probably the same with the Superior Spider-Man but I, I, I don't know but it's so much material in between Nick Spencer and Superior Spider-Man so might read Superior on its own actually this is what's going through my mind every time I get new books. How long am I gonna, am I gonna leave this image ring wrap and then read it to actually enjoy it to its fullest? And sometimes to enjoy something to its fullest, you need some other books. Not necessarily the best thinking when trying to have a minimal collection, but I dig digress. We have one more book, make it four, and this is from DC. And I've already posted lots of pictures of this on my Instagram page. There's a link down below, you can follow it there. And this is Batman Free Jokers. Should have shown this side first, maybe. Batman the Absolute Free Jokers by Jason Fabok, the artist, and Jeff Johns, the writer. This is... This was meant to be an absolute because of the artwork that is Jason Fabok. And I've already read it uh, because it's three issues collected within this one. It's the th definitely the thinnest absolute edition that I got. And it's just gorgeous. This is just a random panel setting. It's a lot of, people said that this is, or this follows along with like Doomsday Clock where, with the nine panel grid, a lot of repetitiveness of that. Jeff Johns trying to be Alan Moore or something, I don't know. And yeah, but, but I like it. I take it for what it is and I enjoy the story. This is a great book you can just take out of your shelf and just read it with all women one sitting and it's your Saturday night movie for the night, just watching that all in the huge spread out pages of the Absolute Edition, and yeah, it's a, a bit uh, controversial to actually li like that story, but I, I do enjoy it for what it is. And with that, that is my haul video for this time, a good decent stack of four books, and uh, still having a lot more that I want to come in, but of course it's all within time. And. Till then, I hope I can get one other video out. Let's talk about budgeting or something like that. I don't know. I've read so many health, self-help books along the way, so I don't really know which one to draw inspiration from right now. But we'll see, I guess. And if you want to come with me, don't forget to subscribe. You can check out the links down below to my website where I make photography and videos as well, along with my Instagram and Facebook. And I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.